Hello, how's everybody doing? I'm Chris. How how's everybody's uh last two weeks been? I hope they were good. How are all the children of light doing? Hanging in there. All right. So this week, what I wanted to do instead of doing the zodiac sign reading like I normally do, um, I just wanted to change it up a little bit and do uh, you know, like pick a pile. So starting from the left will be pile ones and then pile two, pile three, and pile four. There's going to be four piles. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and you can figure out which pile that you will pick. Okay. And I want to tune into um, more of like the angelic realm. So this is going to be more of like an angelic um, reading. Okay, so we're going to see cut the cards. Okay. Okay, perfect. So what I got for the first card is the six of swords okay so in the next two weeks um you will embark on a journey and possibly a physical journey um the card can also indicate a journey of the soul and a transformation uh you will be led away from troubles or away from something that is causing you pain or irritability uh, this is to me like a big transformation, a big change in your life. And also it could be something that you've been waiting for um, to happen. And it's finally looks like it's going to happen. Um, and also this is the card that where you're moving out of troubled waters. Because if you see like this card, it has calm waters and then it has, you know, like wavy waters here so it's kind of like you're moving into maybe the next phase of your life um this is also a card of service uh you may also be you know this could be considered like a second meaning to the card uh you know you may be of service to others and will um, come to a realization of how you can help in a situation um and you will also realize like how much you really are needed. And also um, an angel will assist you and, and stands behind you and will whisper something in your ear. So they're kind of going to guide you through this. And uh, you may, you may think that it's your, it's, you know, logic or, you know, your, you know, your thoughts behind it, but it is actually, you know, you're achieving this or you're helping, helping people through angelic intervention. Um, so continue on your path, even if the waters become rough, you should definitely stay on your path and rewards of heaven are great calm wa waters, you know, as I said, are ahead of you and you just need to stay focused on God and the creator. Okay. For this second pile, we have the queen of swords and the queen of swords is about truth, integrity, justice. Um, so now is the time to stand your own ground and to speak the truth. Cause she always, you know, she always speaks the truth and, you know, it calls for you to be transparent with yourself and with those around you. Um, and 
you know, now is not the time to give into fear. You know, it's time to be honest. It's time to stand strong and steady in your light. Uh, be firm, but not aggressive. Use the sword to spread karmic justice to humanity. If the clouds of confusion uh, make you make you lose your way or your focus, just use the sword to clear it. Uh, you may be tired, but stay balanced. The rewards will be great. And be a messenger and awaken those that cannot see. Okay. Now, pile number three. We have the Knight of Cups. So the angels are saying, uh, live your life with love. You know, this guy, he's very full of love. He comes from the heart chakra. You know, live your life with gratitude. Send that out to the universe and you will be rewarded a hundredfold. Never forget uh, your the intention is important. So for, tho for those of you that feel like you're alone or, you know, always follow your heart, it's okay to feel vulnerable. We are born alone and die alone. But in reality, you are not alone. Let go of the past. Look forward to the future. Uh, your soulmate has arrived. So in other words, you know, fake it till you make it. Act like, act like your soulmate is there with you. Make space, hold space for that person. So the cup is not empty. It's full. Think of it as a full cup. The one that you are seeking will arrive with a full cup as well. He or she will be your, your match in every way. The day is here. Have faith, my beloved ones. And now we're up to the fourth card, which is the Eight of Wands. So you have been waiting patiently for quite some time. The news that you have been waiting for is coming in the next two weeks. It will answer your prayers. There will be a quick transformation. It will happen quickly when it does. The change will bring forth strength and prosperity. The family dy dynamic will change. The light is coming in and enveloping you and your family. It is an angelic light that will bring forth healing and joy. The idea or intention started as small. Um, it started as a small manifestation, but now has grown bigger. This event will raise your consciousness and will raise the consciousness of those around you. Accept this gift with love and gratitude. That's beautiful. All right. And that's it for the next two weeks. And... Thank you so much for tuning in and like, share, subscribe. And I really appreciate and even comment. You know, I really appreciate my viewers. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I really appreciate you and keep up the good work. You know, keep on going. Take care. <laughs>